One is the framework. I value morality. The structural violence and healthy person will include one of the conclusion is not based on verbal argument, see differences, opt out one. Structural violence relates to moral institutions. Moral's operational sense are said to justify and provide ways a way open to apply to people of value. Good people may degree to an extendable audience. Assertion of some is normal and acceptable. Central is to see moral debates about moral inclusion. Moral inclusion is addressed. Our tendency to include people across various sets of tendencies. Our tendency to classify social categories and companies based on the rationality, structural inequality, and social justice. Our tendency to make simple dichotomy and judgments and features between the sets. Judgments have moral components. And Recognizing moral institutions and the structural inequality that it causes a prior punishment institutional reform. Black through 14. Systemic punishment results in violence and degradation. Unless we are willing to acknowledge our colonial civilization and continuation of systemic racism, how can we be allies in the respecting institutionalized brutality? How can we not seeking to understand our role in systemic oppression and what that is intensity without doing so is difficult to see how civilization can be crafted? And ideal theory is unattainable and based issue of reality, failing to solve acts of justice. Mills 09. Ideal theory enables us to say society is under and I'll tell you what is not a deep want to correct that injustice. Ideal theory recognizes the unattainable target and requires us to start over. So the unable social reality and seeks means for correcting them, recognizing the original predetermination of situation cannot be restored. The ideal offers an evasion of dealing with really pressing issues. Ideal theory is not related to those dealing with non-ideal justice, unless it causes the effort to rise. Thus, the standard is reducing structural violence. Part two is the myth of memes. The nuclear energy industry is derived thanks to a thanks to an aggressive campaign of misinformation created by governments with entrenched economic and military interests. So it agree. Despite the neoliberal agenda to commitment to free market, many engage in market consolidation with the intent of support the security apparatus made of the state. This contradiction is locked under the policy of the public good. Nuclear energy is both centralized form of the increase of self-protective abilities and both attractive and heavily securitized. Legitimacy of nuclear power lies in the legitimacy of the state's opinion and turn on insecurity. We should not underestimate the ability of public authorities, especially those of military and energy industries, to influence public discourse. The Japanese nuclear industry gone to great pains to gain exposure to the current emerging generation of which one is good for them. Ownership of nuclear technology is a major factor in sustaining the freedom of uh, people to participate in decision made. The nuclear power series is fertile grounds of competition and the non-discriminatory aspect, which can only increase the air of global participation of security. The entrenched economic interests many of these problems the military industrial complex will keep nuclear industry alive. The long-term cost of environmental security and civil liberty information is a greater burden. And despite its problems, nuclear power is continued by heavy state subsidies which governments view nuclear power as critical for security and legitimacy. So it agree. Renewals of nuclear power is aided by state support. Nuclear power is managed by state building exercise. Nuclear power cannot present itself as unusual, creating massive capital consolidation and state assistance. Analysts must present the power wielded by the country and examine the role nuclear power can play in delaying the progression towards sustainable energy. Both of finds nuclear power is heavily invested with state support, often part of a broader campaign for nationalism. The local foundations of the industry found in the missing from concern over environmental impacts and security concerns. The state accepts a public involvement between the industry and its opponents, which the state supporting. This approach is founded in the power relations track by strategically oriented discourse and the demystification of interstate power. And the state is obsessed with nuclear power because of the military industrial complex. Means that renewables always get overlooked for more costly nuclear alternatives. Trade approach at 08. The U.S. began to develop nuclear power for the same reason other uh, other nations did also. Wanted weapons grade nuclear materials for its military program. The industry massive in tax rates and invest in nuclear energy. Display the 20 billion U.S. nuclear subsidies. Campaign contributions to the nuclear issue. Wouldn't provide 100% of electric needs by using distributed turbines over a wide geographic region. Renewable energy sources are safe and inexpensive and inflict almost no damage on people or the environment. A couple of impacts. The nuclear industry profits from the region terms of environmental racism. Means we should for renewables now. China 11. Nuclear development impacts are paired with environmental racism. Every point in the nuclear production chain is slightly disproportionate risk on marginalized communities. Global and nuclear industry profits from and reinforces racism. The industry comes to mind to react to waste energy weapons that are on land of indigenous peoples. As long as PNI feels like wind and solar remains stars invested, nuclear power may quick screen for its global consequences. And nuclear plants exploit poor migrant labor and deem workers expendable. Colonialism manifests itself to government taking land from local farmers and maintaining closed contracts that doing do vulnerable populations. This lost 14. Power plants used on skilled migrant labor's contracts with low wages with no insurance. Workers exposed to toxicity are rotated out, considered expendable. Massive public protests began against land grabs occurring against local farmers, fearing for their livelihoods. Labor exploitation land appropriate.
distribution of food without regulatory mechanisms. And renewable energy is better than refilling. This is a prime minister of Slovenia distraction this development. For NT12, wind beat nuclear and nuclear hydro solar, but wind and solar beam system safer coming online faster. Prices can be dropped, the cost of use can move upwards. I don't want to be reacting to use power grid, which costs 1.9 to 4.1 trillion, which takes at least a decade. Safe to invest heavily in nuclear power, voice records on efficiency technology, and users said those do not. Investing in nuclear technology crowded out developing clean energy. Alternatives are cheaper, come online faster, and are growing investment. And Air on the side of Athens this on morning, the nuclear energy by extension, the government simultaneously studies to create the disaster of nuclear power. Traders in Chapter 13. Nations wanted commercial nuclear energy to support their military nuclear energy, seeking the benefits of commercial fission technology after the seizure and improved weapons development. All nuclear governments have subsidized 50 to 90 percent of commercial fission costs. Even Obama's new subsidies to install existing infrastructure makes fission economical. Yet the nuclear energy pays lobbies and PR firms to claim fission is cheap and the lobbies for subsidies. Increase the fission because subsidies are not needed, fission is cheap. And warming causes racism, sexism, and oppression. Hello, 12. People of color, women, indigenous communities, and global south nations bear the brunt of climate disruption, giving rise to climate injustice. They bear the brunt of by ill disease policies. The struggle for racial gender and economic justice is inseparable from climate disruption. The path of fear is demanding survival. And nuclear power production in Puerto Rico is bad. ANF 16. Puerto Rico is interested in nuclear energy because they had to import all its food. Construction of the plant started up in 1964. Because of the cost of making this, the big determining the project in 1968. The fuel produced in the almost the entire plant remained. Nuclear plants were set up as a museum, commonly maintained as surveillance by the U.S. Department of Energy. That's the plan. The United States federal government and the government of Puerto Rico opted for political production of nuclear power. Part three is solvency. Shutdown of nuclear power plants is shipped to renewables. They're cheaper, even given subsidies, more efficient, and don't have interdiction problems. Traders in set 13. Cheap renewable energy storage is already available for rapid application. Nuclear components assume all electricity produced by nuclear wind or solar. They inflate renewable energy storage needs. In 2011, renewable energy production beat nuclear production by 5.65%. Even though pro nuclear state, renewable storage is unproblematic. Market costs of food and subsidies and commercial gas and nuclear are more than triple those of renewables. Cost of interest on nuclear construction at 10 times more than market electricity costs and online wind energy during the day. Intermittency is not a roadblock. And Renewables comparatively solve warming better. My evidence is bold and independent of investing university and NGO studies that are peer reviewed and not funded by the nuclear industry to conclude nuclear power produces more emissions than renewables. Traders for Chapter 13. Of the 29 major international nuclear emissions assessments in 2000, all 18 funded by the industry are dated by counting emissions from one stage of 14. And all stages have number seven massive carbon emissions occur. The industry calls fission emissions free because the industry trims data, independent peer reviewed, university analysis, and scientific journals throughout the world agree fission is five to 40 times dirtier than wind, three to 10 times dirtier than solar, and as dirty as natural gas. Nuclear contributes to climate change, causing up to 40% of all cancers. There is no low carbon activation in making paper atomic energy over renewables. And renewables are ready. Germany, Spain, and India approved. Traders for Chapter 13. Nuclear proponents say renewable energy technology is not ready. One problem is that nuclear energy proponents are the only people who make them. Top government discovered that renewables alone can address climate change. Princeton University says only six of nine renewable technologies already deployed at industrial scale could easily address climate change by 2050. Program for UCLE also says already available renewable energy to provide 99% of used electricity by 2020. Market target 2020. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank So in that case, let's talk about the evidence. Hello, 12. So sure. warming causes racism, sexism, and oppression. So we're racist because of warming? Okay, we're not racist because of warming. The claim here is that warming exacerbates the racism okay, in so the face of people to think that climate is. So then how do you solve for the actual things like racism? Obviously, you cannot solve for racism. It is so ingrained in society. My argument is that we make it a little bit better because we grief, we grief the fact that people like live Wait, in different areas. Where do you show it makes it better? You just say this one thing is bad for racism. Where do you show that it just doesn't matter? Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Let me finish my closing. You say that this one thing is bad for racism. Where do you show that racism just manifests itself in some other thing? I mean, sure, racism will probably coexist after the app happens. My argument is that we decrease the significance of it. Yeah, my like my, my nuclear question. power being tied to environmental racism and the labor. Hold on, you just made an assumption in that question. And I went, I'm about to do something on question one. Okay. So I'm questioning you on where do you show that it actually decreases racism? You say that it is an impact of racism. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You say it exacerbates racism, and that can be fine. But where do you show that it actually overall net decreases racism in the app world? I think trying to quantify racism is probably problematic. Because well, I'm not quantifying it. We're just weighing Olympics. impacts. But my argument this is that when we shift I'm not saying one oppression is worse than another. Can I answer your question? Well, you just accused me of doing something. Okay. Like That's fine. Your question. When we shift away from nuclear power and shift to cleaner, more decentralized forms of energy, such as renewables, we are thus able to prevent things like the environmental racism caused by these plants and stop the labor exploitation that happens in these plants. Okay, so place. again, you say that the environmental racism is, quote, caused by these plants. So are you saying new racism exists because nuclear power exists? No, I'm not saying that racism exists because nuclear power exists. My okay. argument is that nuclear power is one of the avenues in which racism takes place. So let's talk about your theory. Is it okay to do one oppression act or one oppression act and stop on other oppression acts? Probably not. You can't quantify no. oppression and add it up like that. Wait, so. Like, how do you know that that one oppressive act is like not worse than those ten oppressive acts? That just requires. So, you your framework is not consequential. Your framework is not consequential. No, my framework is consequentialist. We're looking at the most material, like, policy actions that can reduce well, structural violence. My argument is that the plan is that action. Wait, 
So you your plan is so the app is not consequentialist yet. The app you can is never do. Wait, so the app, yeah, I know. It, you said the app is maybe, maybe I misspoke. You said so. You say the app is consequentialist yes. yet. You can not do one thing that causes a question to stop another thing from causing a question. My argument is that you would probably end up saying a fraction Olympics there because you would say that that's one. I think one you misunderstand what a fraction Olympics is. is. A fraction Olympics is saying like sexism is worse than racism or things like that. This no, is not it's a fraction also Olympics. saying that certain people's oppression is worth more than other people's. Yeah, I'm not saying any we particular it, person's oppression is worse. It's just a quantifying other. of impacts, i.e., if nuclear power causes life. Okay, oh. I'll just come up with another one. Sorry, guys. We're just going to be three off this is. Morality must start in the opportunity guide action. Otherwise, everyone will have different interpretations, hold different rules, and different rules. Two different things kind of deal with serious and circular. They're self-giving. I don't have three sides. There's a difference between offer and opposition. Things are true by observation. Things are true by matter. Change things on the map. Maybe on the map of not going to see of a world in which the cat is not on the map. On the context of the other pieces of the world, in which your triangle doesn't have three sides, since it's topological and true. Operation to refer to this other creation change. Not going to refer to the whole reason. Operation to apply the other and after the morality is arbitrary. And they'll see how to action which means the ethics going to reduce the back to two plus two equals four. Can't you see the ethics of the of everyone? Why would you see the ethics of a natural soul freedom for the end result of having two people to make this wall multiple to every piece of judgment of freedom release the natural of all persons in the implementation of freedom and the extension of their own. Thus, the standard of truth respect and freedom, skip that uh, affirmation stuff. Thus, the standard of respect and freedom impact calculate two types of contradiction between contradiction of the world, contradiction between perception, contradiction of the world, contradiction of the world, contradiction of the world, contradiction of the world, which is possible to have a contradiction between perception that doesn't exist, which is brought about due to material circumstances. It's possible to have a, but it's impossible to have a contradiction of the world which is self defeating. I contend that the absence of contradiction of the world banning is the power of will that individuals are unable to act in the world. Unable to act in the world, saying, or will that individuals are having freedom of violence, or unable to act in the world, and nuclear power is defined by the dictionary as anything produced by an atomic reaction. There's nothing particularly bad about nuclear power in advance because their nuclear has some bad effect. We took the research of this plant, i.e., it's not created by hundreds of nuclear bullets, that it's just a bad use of it to advance common sense. Topicality. Using your radiation, your firm must defend banning nuclear, uh, nuclear power in Syria, our country. The country is thrown out of the Fair Book. The government was formed by Admiral Hillary F. Keyes, Elijah from Puerto Rico, is not a country, it's a territory of the United States. Puerto Rico, uh, Report 16. Puerto Rico is a territory of the U.S. Puerto Rico is a U.S. citizen. You don't need a passport to tell Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico the islands considered in the U.S. and within U.S. border treaties is U.S. currency, and they're on the wrong side.
cited the issues of three persons that they violated. That's Wikipedia 16. The Puerto Rico, the, in Puerto Rico versus uh, Sanchez uh, 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 Valley, uh, the, the United States Supreme Court determined that Puerto Rico is the territory that locks down to reopen the schools of prosecutors for harboring illegal U.S. minors, uh, just as the back of the city, uh, back of the city starts to the state government. And it's not a question of whether it should be a country. It's a question of whether they are a country right now, which means they don't have to uh, make the arguments about how it should be a country. But that, that can be the case, but that doesn't mean my country is false. See, it's your stand first, it's engagement, thanks for the background, with respect to any uh, uh, to one of the, uh, one of the proxy ones the country is present on the country flag crowd is objectively twice selected in the five minutes of the public public question about the last of the and they get to select the best country and they get the best office to decide which person they need. But the second point is ground issue and the ground is a question who is questionable whether the illegal school warning is out of the race is illegal. The people who are not are not in place to be used to allow them to take the jeopardy effects of policy changes in relation to in relation to between nations. And these vote in fairness. Since the balance is a better base for each person to understand and involve in the better data for jurisdiction and fair fairness over state capital called the advocates and possible final location to transform the country since you're voting for something else and dropping data you're people just to be are the last to talk to me you are the last to debate or the last to debate the research in the one area for debate because you're obviously also dropping data you can only drop the debate from research and any negative abuse property access to either or any or any yeah negative any negative use of this property access is trespass to you the property after you speak against your church and you have to stop that and you can be concerned having brought into public property you can continue in search of the video that has some pretty serious problems with the data they get away with also the question of how the power is provided and how or not the system is being used and how also if they don't have the definition of the so they should not be told it's the it's not just political violence but it's just a question of the top power of the app. Uh proceed. Your movement goes against the interests of the press at John Carter 99. The framework letter justify to justify free service research and includes possibly racist assumptions about racist versus assumptions that the race class research how to be uh how to improve physical envi uh, uh, physical environment is to maintain free not all, all, uh, uh, all facilities not all facility uh, facility settings of third parties, however, or in full scale uh, full scale opposition. Some communities are uh, some communities on balance and policy systems can be found a benefit, other communities are struggling to deal with daily survival and potentially they can devote most of their limited time to working problems and challenges. For example, other communities in Delhi and many other areas in in uh, in Delhi could really the Conditions of poverty, more some uh, some shelter conditions have no resources out of the reservation. Because it's part of the rest of the reservation, so the AC goes to this really cause of racism. Rather than challenging the dominant white country, Jesus created something that's beyond the one. The established standards for the use of distribution of fertility, uh, of, uh, distribution of fertility for the, the primary needs of the sheep, uh, sheep and vine producers. Your concern about the uh, the increase is not only taking one guy mentioned too, uh, uh, too much on uh, outcomes out, out and not enough on the cost. It's not by or by by not addressing racial communities are over are overexposed. Agencies fail to confront discriminatory policy practices. Preferences are, are, are defined by relative power of the self inflicted subjects of the environment. The question of time is the output. Measure ground neutral for the basis of trade. The rules and the model can resolve these problems. It's also see that's pretty common. That's why they went to this critique. It is not that neutral power, or it's not that racism exists because we have neutral power points, but rather they are just a symptom and a manifestation of racism, which means that they are simply misdiagnosing the problem. And the environment just misdiagnoses the problem. You, can't, uh, you cannot simplify racism to broadly because racism is just a symptom of the oppression that dominates the experience. The established standards can see a consideration that older uh, that older conditions can show the same racism can be twisted to political legal remedies. One size fits all. The racist position can even be perception of a racist social rather than just the social class failure. It is also reasonably related to perception of the Supreme Court and such uh, 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 type are, uh, are the reasons for the opinion. But otherwise, the relevant social interactions and credit interactions are opinions rejected. One entity is absolutely plain and American can reach the severity. This is a appreciation of solvency on code theory. Conceptualization conceptualization of racial dominated the discourse of the uh, 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 discourse of the environment and the institution of racial uh, the cult of respect of environmental racism the reason for the public creation of civil rights and continuous problem of race environment and want to solve the greater attention in the case of racial changes in public opinion because different attitudes towards the purity and human interest in racial society cannot change the environment race is not actually what it means to be racist is saying first method to the environment such a part of the environment and skip the next slide and the fair and of greater problems is presenting shape of the way that factors state that these problems over time dominate racism and such as common knowledge and typically the agency problems are also true well the problem is not given that the problems are given how these objective shape for individual classes all those things are just uh, just like these factors of policy do happen to make those dominant narratives uh, do dominant factors more predictable with time motives and perhaps it's authorized to present some critique in that case framework over to the case, now we really wonder why we look at consequences. Let me say excuse is bad more oppression. So I agree, pressure is bad. It's a question of how we go about solving that. I, I assume you cannot do one bad thing to stop another bad thing. I do when you can uh, try to go about solving oppression, however, you should not violate someone's freedom in the process of doing so. Which means that uh, which means that you choose none of the terms between having the addition uh, addition of the line that we often have because that the excuse is bad, however, excuse me. But they're talking about the however excuse of uh, excuse me in terms of the consequential sense, I e we have to make sure that everyone has equal footing on the ground line, that footing which means the distinction between the second place place and free crowd. Just because someone used to be a place crowd, well doesn't mean our epistemology is fair. Which is that they are conflating layers of debate, and I don't have to watch that because we have to acknowledge the potential racism. We can acknowledge that racism in my world is something that's racist. Again, it's just a question of how we address racism. The second is, well, it doesn't, it doesn't really apply, but also it's circular. It's just that we don't uh, address racism, racism, and it produces more bad consequences, which is obviously a certain consequence. 
Now if I guilty, the, the, the first point says, uh, the, uh, the first point says there's only one correct guilty to God. You can't do anything yourself. You, just, you can definitely do things. It's just as much about how we do it. I.e., not violating freedom of thought. This is good. We do start the else's laws. This is just because you might not ever be able to achieve an ideal world. This is have, it's not a reason why you should not be subscribed to it, which is not a reason why you picked up this conference here. Because if that's your will, you picked up their terms, just like you can never ameliorate uh, solve 100% of racism. Some reason why you definitely at least try to do it, which means that their arguments, uh, uh, which means that their arguments don't apply. Additionally, uh, you can talk about their CX answer that said that we can't do one racist thing, but that we would stop another racist thing. That makes this case because it's on all BAC and how we vote. So it is rather than giving a policy that like just blankets, uh, that just blanketly says that this is one thing that we need to follow the whole BC has to pay to people and things like that, is that we should not, we, instead of doing that, we should actually analyze the specific characteristics of the groups and actually see yeah, why that thing's happening. Specific characteristics of groups, i.e., ask groups if they want to have nuclear power or not? Um, I don't think that's exactly what it is. I mean, maybe that could be. Do you agree that the environmental racism of nuclear power causes is bad? I don't think the nuclear power causes racism. The results of nuclear power results in, in environmental racism. Do you agree with that as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, does the alternative do anything to overcome that? It's a question of framing, which means that typically that's not the case. Okay, can Actually, a ban on nuclear like, you know, power happen in the world if we don't have it? And a ban of nuclear power happen in the world. It's not a political question. Okay. Uh, then let's talk about the yeah, second piece of down the road evidence. You see that I ignored the root cause of racism. What is the root cause of racism? The point is, is that you do not need to know that. So the voting what is the root cause of racism? Obviously, I cannot tell you that. Wait, if you don't know what the root cause of racism is, how do you know that I ignore it? Because uh, because we know that because we can't know what something is doesn't mean that we can not know what it's not. No, I think that's you can't make a claim about whether or not I ignore something and not even know what it is. No, I so think it's pretty is firm is that nuclear power is not what causes people to. Yeah, I never made a claim that nuclear power is what. No, the problem racism. is that you misdiagnose it immediately so you would frame the problem in general. It's a question of framing. Okay, wait. How exactly does the one see misdiagnosed? Let's just go through the critique then. So, no, how exactly does that? Yes, that's what the critique explains. The, all the Yamamoto evidence would explain why that is the case. Okay, that just seems to say that I'm like ignoring the root cause of the social conflict. That's the I mean, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's talk yeah. about the NC. You say that morality must be ground, grounded in some kind of like truth, and you say that a ban on nuclear power violates freedom. How does a ban on nuclear power violate freedom? Because they are unable to build nuclear power plants. Okay, so we want to stop, like, people aren't able to build power. What about people that get exploited for their labor in those power plants? What about their freedom? So that's an excellent question, and the uh, Wang and Brigham Yang would explain why that does not enter the NC. So there are contradictions in will and contradictions in self. The contradiction in self is brought about due to material circumstances, such that it creates that about such that it violates freedom. So Wait, for example, so the actual yeah, we'll result of a free nuclear reaction doesn't cause this place. Is that fine? I'm confused with that question. Like the actual action, like nuclear reactor. It's not that it's just, the argument is that there is nothing constitutive about a nuclear reaction such that it must violate freedom. If it is that their few workers are being exploited and that it is we're dumping waste into native community lands, that's just a reason why that is bad. It's not a reason why nuclear power is bad. Okay.
I need country to use the government or uh, in specific territories. The law of January 16th, country state defines place in the public and legislation to be deemed established by the courts so as to deny to in the general population of the nation state that the government having possession of their territory. And Puerto Rico is self governing, and Puerto Ricans can't vote in the U.S. election proves that they're not part of the United States. Puerto Rico.org 16. Puerto Rico is self governing commonwealth, an association with the United States that has a government elected governor. There are two legislative changes the House of Representatives, 51 seats in the Senate in 2017. Puerto Rico has authority over its internal affairs. Puerto Rican institutions control internal affairs unless U.S. laws in, uh, involved. The major institution in Puerto Rico that dictates is an executive for some aspects of the internal water input. It's lack of voting representation to the the uh, House of Congress. The ineligibility of Puerto Ricans in residing on the island to vote in presidential elections means I need the information. Puerto Rico is separate from the United States and it controls its own internal affairs. It has its own presiding government just because it is a territory does not mean that it is not sovereign in its own right over its internal affairs which nuclear power is one of so it means i need the interpretation so i'll tell the offense also now moving on even if i don't need the interpretation counter interpretation the ask may defend that the united states federal government and the government of puerto rico fears their production proves the power if they have a solvency advocate that says that uh prohibiting uh, that production and the uh, that nuclear power is bad in the u.s and in uh, puerto rico so i'll tell the offense because it's also all their predictability claims they say that they couldn't engage in the ask they didn't have enough ground uh, linked to so standards because it means that they were able to engage Multiple countries, especially Puerto Rico, means that it is better for the ground because they can do things like picks out of Puerto Rico. There's lots of evidence and popular as to why Puerto Rico should have nuclear power uh, and, and the U.S. should ban it, which means it solves all their views. Also, they can generate dissatisfaction to the United States and Puerto Rico taking the advantage, uh, taking the action at the same time, which means it solves all the uh, argument. Also, it's not a reason to drop the ban. Look to reasonability in this specific instance. You can at least uh, drop the argument and correct the whole resolution. Also, uh, reasonability is particularly good under my counter interpretation because I've proven that I have a solvency advocate for both countries, which means that this is predictable and it wasn't the topic. But also, Puerto Rico is sovereign in and of its own right. Their um, approach is really paternalistic. Which means you should look to reasonability on topicality because it is the only way for us to be able to engage in the substantive debate that they want to have. Meaning it's a prerequisite to their voters. Now moving on to case. 
uh, first, their only arguments about a peace answer the framing debate. They don't address the harms of machines. If you think that people should stop dying as a result of environmental racism that occurs because of the um, situation of plants and nuclear power, and so it's a colonialism that means that you should probably vote out because there's nothing in the natural world that resolves that. Also, their framework arguments don't make sense in this context. They opt out. It's, their only um, argument is that it's consequentialist. My argument is just that we should not divide people with the in and out groups. That still um, outweighs in turns under their framework and see because it means that dividing people with the in and out groups means that they cannot access freedom rights in the first place, which means it's a prerequisite to their intent. Also, the mill evidence takes out their argument. They just say that ideal theory is not bad because they, they can something they can subscribe to. My argument is that ideal theory is bad because you cannot focus on the tangible conditions of injustice that people face on a daily basis, meaning they can never actually solve for um, stopping people's freedom violations because they do not analyze how these violations are occurring in the status quo. Also, you can extend the Chen and Vislas evidence they've conceded, which means that nuclear power is bad because it results in increased amounts of racism and also uh, increased amounts of colonialism as well as of land grabs and worker exploitation. Also, they've conceded solvency. That's correct. And all three of evidence means renewables will fill in these solved case uh, on a consequential basis. You can vote out. Also, now moving on to the K, there is still no link to this K in cross-examination. They could not identify the root cause of racism, meaning how can they know if I ignore something if they don't even, can't even establish what it is in the first place? No link to the K, or it's a link of omission, which means the perm would solve it. Uh, go to the perm debate now. We can perm through the after the negative. We should probably stop the uh, resource exploitation and the result of uh, labor exploitation that happens before we do the negative. That is the only way they can, we can uh, reject abstract claims in the first place. It means that the after the prerequisite of solving the K. Also, perm, we can recognize groups uh, as different and also ban nuclear power. We can still get rid of um, labor exploitation while recognizing what they want. Also, the consensus in the U.S. and Puerto Rico is that nuclear power is bad. My evidence does not just talk about one group. It also talks about indigenous groups, black people, brown people that occur in the United States that all think that um, the nuclear power is bad. Also, there are Yamamoto, uh, third piece of Yamamoto evidence. We do not ignore the social contract. That is a social context. That is the lax article on case. We recognize that institutionalized brutality exists and the absence of form of rejecting that, which means another no link to the K. Also, my framing is fine because we recognize that. Now, moving on to NC. Uh, the NC just doesn't make sense. Uh, consequential is inevitable, even deontological frameworks 302. Attempting to make solve moral problems is complex. They are in deontological algorithm. It's a dogmatism that most ISPs care, but dogmatism all the same. However, it's likely that when people talk about balancing competing rights domination, they're really thinking in consequential by their use of deontological language. Mark the credit language means that their framework eventually devolves to my framework because it results in consequential. The only way they can respect people's freedom is if they acknowledge that these trade offs exist, and the only way to solve those trade offs is by looking for consequential lens. Also, cross applying mills, that's an insight to this framework. Ideal theory means that they don't actually respect people's freedoms.
reporter is going to the T, then MC and T. Over to the T debate, all I have to do is win a violation, I win. They have conceived a jurisdiction voter, which says that you have to vote for a top vote advocacy. If I win, when you win, why they don't meet my definition of a country, then that means that there's no way you can vote for them. It doesn't matter if you're fair, uh, their advocacy is more fair or more educational. Do you still have the obligation to vote for the topic that them saying that they get to redefine the, they don't even conceive, they, don't, they ask you to conceive the jurisdiction voter, which is you shouldn't give them any leeway here. You have, even if their advocacy, even if their counterintuitive is more fair or more educational, it doesn't matter. You still have to vote for the topic there. Or it's, it's other doing otherwise would be the equivalent of doing things like saying that you're going to find, pro, define prohibited nuclear power as promoting democracy in the Middle East because it's more fair, more educational. No, you have a constraint and an obligation to vote for the topic. If I win, why are they not that? Then that means you cannot affirm. So let's go to their ID. Their ID is tricky, but their ID is tricky, but it's probably, however, they're committing a pretty, however, they're clearly committing a fallacy. It's the fall, they're committing the fallacy of affirming the consequence. They say that if something is a country, then it has legislation, treaties, and inter internal codes. However, just because something has legislation, treaties, and internal codes does not mean that it's a country. Just like if I'm allergic to peanut butter, I do not eat peanut butter. However, if I do not eat peanut butter, it does not mean that I'm allergic to peanut butter. So it, it, it may sound really complicated, like stuff, but they're committing fallacy of affirming the consequence. A country is something, they say a country is something that has a, like a place and has uh, treaties and things like that. However, just because something has treaties doesn't make it a country. That's a fallacy. So then their second argument is from their, their second argument says that uh, Puerto Rico is self governing and Puerto Rico and Puerto Rico can't vote in U.S. elections. However, they don't have a, I don't read any argument that says uh, they don't read any argument as to why voting is how they witness test for what is a country, especially when they have conceded Supreme Court rulings that show that you knew that Puerto Rico is a territory and that even if they can't vote in elections, uh, 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 even if they can't vote in elections, that certainly does not mean that they're a country. So let's go to the violation. Extending to producing a purpose of unbanning banning nuclear power in former countries and extending the Rambo book, evidence that says uh, that, that, that says uh, the regular rounds form both by having the letter S, extending by extending the Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico report 16 evidence that says that uh, Puerto Rico is a territory, not a country. Puerto Rico is, is are they, even, even if you're in Puerto Rico, you're a U.S. citizen, which means that though, even if they have some independent states, are they still relying on things like U.S. citizenship and still share U.S. passports and U.S. and U.S. currency, which means that all those things in common prove why they're not independent, even if they have their own legislative body, that does not mean that they're their own country under, under that interpretation. I'm asking that the State uh, that was like Texas, and pretty much any state ever is its own country, which means that their interpretation, and their interpretation is absurd. And this is where it's really damning. They conceded the Wikipedia 67 that says that, that, says that the Supreme Court proves that uh, that Puerto Rico is that, uh, that Puerto Rico is not a country. This is pretty recent. This is from June 9, 2016, in the Puerto Rico versus Sanchez Valley. Evident, and uh, well, the Supreme Court determined that Puerto Rico is a territory and lacks its own sovereignty. Yes, even if they have some control over their internal affairs, that does not mean that that, does, uh, that, that, that would not mean that they are their own country. That, uh, obviously, any governing body, obviously any governing body. Would necessarily have uh, its own control over internal affairs, but not just by it being a country. So if they're, they're like they're just wrong here. Puerto Rico is not a country. It is its own territory. It's not a state. Just because it's not a state doesn't mean that it's its country. And also, their IME is a fallacy. Just because uh, just because a country has legislation, legislative bodies, doesn't mean that something has legislative bodies is a country. Now let's go to the. They have one argument against the NC, and they've also conceded a bit, or they've also conceded reasons in the NC that uh, or they've also conceded framework takeouts that are embedded in the NC. The, the perhaps let's respond to their or let's properly respond to their framework takeout. They said consequent they said every argument devolved into a con or that uh, violations are creating devolved into consequence. However, their evidence is pretty bad on this issue. It just says, the read evidence just says that some people see violations of freedom as being consequential. It's just because some people see it that way doesn't mean that that is the case, which means that they are wrong here. Uh, additionally, my, the, the, the way that, the, the way about conception of the bill, or contradiction in, or contradiction in conception and contradiction will, would also resolve this. Yes, there can be scenarios in which we evaluate consequential offense, like, just like Kant would agree that the act is bad, or the, would agree that the use of nuclear power in the status quo is bad. However, he would not conclude that we should ban nuclear power. I created this very clear when I responded to the act. It's a question about how we address these problems. We can agree that racism is bad. We can agree that oppression is horrible. However, that are constraints about, there's, or, there, that doesn't mean that, however, obviously oppression means that does not justify why there are no constraints on how we go about uh, fixing oppression, which, you know, uh, uh, fixing oppression. For example, you cannot, uh, for example, the NC would say that you cannot violate freedom to, or you cannot uh, will violation of freedom in order to stop oppression. Uh, oppression. So let's go to the NC proper. 
They think that morality has to be oper- uh, that morality has to be oper- uh, grounded to operate a truth guided action. Otherwise, it would mean that everyone would have different ethical rules and follow different ethical rules. I think that the theory of conscious consciousness framework because it means that it cannot guide action in, 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 in given scenarios because uh, because because it gives uh, parts different ethical rules for different people, which means that it's impossible for it to guide action. That's the most fundamental thing that morality has to do uh, do to guide action, which is the reason why we reject the framework. They've also conceded that things that are true a posteriori, i.e., things that are true by observation, are just true by a matter of chance. That's not a decision about ethical theories, which means that all of their offense goes away because it's all about things that are happening. The world, but nothing about it is true, but it has nothing to do with author. They think that they exist in the sense of the world. They've also been to the anchor of it. It says that a violation of freedom can't be true since it leads to a contradiction in a sense that it's a contradiction of the world, which is only that it leads to freedom. Now, they've also conceded the impact of that there are two types of contradictions. There's contradiction of the world, contradiction of inception. The, the, the arguments that they make for, the, for why the AC terms the NC are contradictions of inception, i.e., i.e., it is for, it happens, just so happens in the world that when there is nuclear power, that it can violate freedom. However, that is just a bad use of nuclear power. It's not the decision of nuclear power, i.e., you can conceive of a nuclear power floating somewhere out in space such that it doesn't violate people's freedom. It means that it's not a reason why you could violate it, which means that they have to prove why it is literally impossible in every single scenario that you conceive of nuclear power that it would have to violate freedom. And some, uh, that is simply not the case, which means that there's literally no way they can turn the NC at this point. They have conceded the dictionary, the free dictionary definition that, uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, the free dictionary that's defined as energy produced by atomic reaction which doesn't conceive by nuclear power that's the answer. Okay, AC. Even if, you, uh, even, if you think, uh, even if you think the NC doesn't take out the AC framework, they're still far behind on their own framework justification. They're often held interest as that exclusion is arbitrary. However, no, I already answered that. Just because it is arbitrary does not justify why you, could, why you uh, still value the concept of consciousness. Yes, we agree oppression is bad. That is not what we are contesting. But rather, I contest the fact of uh, contest the way that we go about it. They often try to classify Mills. However, they're taking two arguments against Mills. The first one is that we can at least strive to have an ideal society. And the second point is that they are also ideal because they can see that they can, can't evaluate or they can't solve racism, which means that they can never evaluate, which means their ideal can't. Their answers to the I need make no sense. They just say that it's the fallacy that it's the fallacy because just because a country has a legislation does not mean that it's a country. They misunderstand the argument. My argument is that a country is something that has a government, i.e., a government that can produce legislature. The next piece of evidence from Puerto Rico.org says that Puerto Rico has its own legislature and government and can control its own internal affairs, which means in the context of nuclear power, since that is an internal affair, it is considered a country, which means I need the interpretation, especially in the context of nuclear power, because it is uh, it is an internal affair that is governed by the government of Puerto Rico. The U.S. government has no jurisdiction over Puerto Rican's ability to control nuclear power. That's why in uh, 1964, when they built the reactor in the first place, the U.S. didn't have any say in that, which means that even though it is a territory of the United States in some specific instances, in the context of internal affairs such as nuclear energy and nuclear power, it is a it is its own country because it passes the legislature about that. That is the nature of the IME. If it passes legislature, i.e. it has a functioning government in a specific context, then it is a country in that specific context, which means I need this interpretation. They just say that um, I don't need the interpretation because um, they've also conceded that it's, it's like some kind of like litmus test, but that just doesn't apply here. In the context of nuclear power, Puerto Rico is a country because it passes the legislation about its regards to Puerto Rico uh, power. Their own definition of a country says it has to be sovereign. It is sovereign in the context of nuclear power, which means I mean. Also, um, off their jurisdiction arguments, they don't make sense in this specific context because they say that I've conceded jurisdiction, but they, their just means for jurisdiction are fairness, and I've, uh, they've conceded the counter which means the only way we can have fairness and fair access to ground is through the counter uh, interpretation. So the only way to access the jurisdiction voter is through the counter interpretation, which means I'm controlling the lens of all the offense on the TV. So if he thinks the counter interpretation is reasonably better for ground because it allows them more pay ground or just have ground, that means T goes away and you default to reasonability. They've also conceded that, which means that if I'm more be- if I'm better for education, which is the end of fairness, which is the only way to access jurisdiction, then you vote on reasonability for the counter interpretation and default to substance. Now moving on to the framework debate. Their answer 
actions that framework to me don't make sense. They, they, um, they um, mishandle green and mills. They misunderstand the nature of that. The green evidence is just saying that when you talk about freedoms and balancing people's different freedoms, i.e., whether we can violate one right to preserve another, we are thinking like consequentialists, i.e., things like deontological frameworks, when they try to respect freedom, ultimately have to balance rights, which means that they, that defaults them to consequentialism. The only way that we can actually uphold respecting freedom is by looking to the consequences and whether or not they outweigh, which means it's inherently consequential. So that's the first line of the green evidence. They've also conceived the mills card, which indicates that they are a form of idealism. They see that I can see their justifications as to how they can strive to reasonability or to be reasonably uh, better and how I don't solve for reason. That isn't the argument here. My argument is just that because of ideal theory, they cannot actually solve for freedom because they do not recognize the actual tangible conditions of rights violations that are happening in the status quo, which means they don't notice the actual violations of freedom that people face in the status quo because they are abstracting away from that and looking at things in a vacuum. I think like environmental racism gets swept under the rug because they are not seen in the context of the nature of society. They are seen in the context of a person, which means that's the reason to prefer my framework over theirs because structural violence is a prerequisite to stop have making, making sure people have access to upholding freedom in the first place. So going to case, um, I won the framework debate because I, they, I think I mishandled the Mill's evidence. That means that he cannot analyze different contradictions between freedom uh, as per the green evidence, and he's a form of idealism, which means that they cannot solve for freedom. So extend the Chen and Dislaw's evidence and solve environmental racism because of um, renewables filling in. Means that are a consequential stopping structural violence framework. Please end the debate.